Day 14's off to a great start. Just how I like it. There's dolphins out in the bay. The sun is up high. I'm getting ready to go fishing. And I missed my favorite meal last night, so I'm gonna reheat it. Sometimes spaghetti's better the second day anyway. I always stagger back. Good. This is Thaddeus Reagan. Captain Thaddeus here. We're gonna go out and uh, catch some fish and cook them on these solar uh, grills. Get the ghost sun going today. Yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. What a sweet opportunity. Thanks to Chris Burton at Sea Task. Going out for a full day with a professional bass fisherman deep into the Everglades. Plus, I, I got a free facelift along the way. Yeah, we're just, we stopped out on a little island out here in the Glades. It's a great place to fillet up some fish and we don't even have to start a fire. We're just gonna put the fish in the grill and let the sun do its, uh, do its job. Cichlid fillets. They're, they're just like bluegill. If you guys from up in the Midwest or into bluegill fishing, these Mayan cichlids and Oscars, they're just like bluegill on steroids and they make great fillets, great to eat. This this reminds me of when I was a kid fishing with my grandfather. We fillet up our bluegill off of Tennessee and that's how I started fishing. Hey, it goes in makes it easy. You know, put them in the tube. That's it. Awesome. Look at this beautiful fish. It's got all these red circles on it. That's some good stuff. He's weird. We're sharing it with our friends here. Our new friends. <laughs> How you doing? Making some sales out on the water. Everybody, anybody will buy anything out of here on a sunny day when the fish are biting. Next time I see you. Got a bow fin here. Nice long dorsal fin. I think this fish has more names than any fish out there. It's, it's been called so many things. It's a bow fin, a lung fish, a grenel, a cypress bass. I'm gonna swing it in. Hopefully it'll stay on. He's shot four, he, sh he got three in a row. Woo! Oh, now that is a big, big, healthy, happy bass. Wow. Well, the sun's been good to us. Afternoon clouds are settling in a little bit. We've got a gator creeping up on us here. Another one creeping up in the front there. Thaddeus is bringing in the bass and the Oscars. And I have got lunch, which is a largemouth bass. And to top it all off, I made some potatoes. A big hard sun. We also got a chance to stretch the legs on the new Go Sun Go, which definitely proved itself worthy of a few fishing trips in the future. Hardest job for the day, wiping down the product, make sure the sun is properly reflecting. <laughs> what a great chance to fish out in the Everglades and learn from a master. Thad really does use his ghost on every chance he gets, including when he's got guests on his boat. Imagine going to the beach and having to carry all that stuff for grilling, like with the proper grill with the charcoal and the fire and the the lighter fluid. Why do you want to carry all that stuff to the beach? And plus, a lot of a lot of beaches or campsites don't even allow you to, to build fires anymore. So, I mean, why not take the go sun and eliminate all that? You save time. Your food is cooked in a more natural way. It doesn't have all the, um, the carcinogens in it. You're not putting smoke into the air. It's, it's a lot simpler. Um, I mean, there's so many reasons why I would rather just take the go sun to the beach. 
the day was ended with some mustard potatoes and I've got fish ready for tomorrow.